We're at Sheboygan Christian High School where tonight the Eagles take on crosstown rival Sheboygan Lutheran. Hello everybody, my name is Mike Martin. Joining me for the first time is Brad Balco. Brad is stepping in for Chris Wright who had a baseball meeting tonight. Uh, Brad, thanks a lot for joining me. My pleasure, glad to be here. All right, coming in, Sheboygan Christian has uh, lost their last two games. They really suffered a humiliating defeat to uh, Oostburg. Now, having lost two games, coming into a big game like that, like we have tonight, the Crosstown Rival, do you think that plays into uh, tonight's game? I definitely think it plays into tonight. Uh, it'll be a gut check for the for the home team here to see if they come out and put up a fight or, or uh, you know, see how it goes. Now, you haven't seen uh, Sam Decker play yet, but he's a very good ball player. What have you heard about him? Uh, I have not heard him, uh, seen him play yet. Um, heard he's big, you know, big tall guy going to Madison. Um, pretty athletic, but young. So we'll see see how he develops. Now the other night when uh, Christian played uh, Usberg, Usberg put a much taller player on Zach Flipsy and pretty much shut him down. Do you think that would be a good strategy for Lutheran to use tonight? Um, it could be. Um, you have to see how Zach Zach handles having a bigger guy on him. You have to try to. Try to beat him with your quickness and uh, maybe go right at him, get him into a little foul trouble. Now, with Lutheran being a little bit taller, possibly, do you think it'd be a good idea for them to sit in a zone instead of trying to play man to man? Yeah, you could always get back in the zone and uh, see if you can uh, shut down the inside and make them hit some shots from outside. The other thing, and I was talking to somebody tonight, and they said that they thought that the first time around, Coach Decker tried to get his son to play guard instead of playing underneath the basket. What do you think about that strategy? Well, I think it's a, I think it's a good idea. Um, you know, not having seen him play yet, but I hear he's pretty athletic and, you know, for the next level and everything, that it's good to be well-rounded inside and outside. All right. With that, we're going to step out. When we come back, we'll have the starting lineups and a tip-off for tonight's ball game. Almost half of all parents who suspect their child has a problem learning wait a year or more before getting them help. Why? When there's so much they could be achieving. Kids with learning disabilities are smart. They just learn differently. Call or visit us on the web now. Excuse me, Mr. Executive, who studied trigonometry back in school and now sits in a huge office and drives a finely tuned luxury car. Yes, Mr. Only learned basic math, so still have an entry level job and have to live with your mother. If you need me this weekend, I'll be here filling out your expense reports and timesheets because that's really the only kind of math I can handle. Great. Simple addition and subtraction sound right up your alley. Have a great weekend in the country, sir. Uh, my cell phone number and John's cell phone number. Hey, pretty. And um, number the restaurant where we're going to be. And oh, I've um, left you my pager number too, just in case, because you never know. Um, John, you have the gift? The odds of a babysitter calling 911? One in 1400. So should happen, please don't hesitate. The odds of a child being diagnosed with autism? One in 150. You know the odds of autism. Now learn the signs. Go to autismspeaks.org. Okay, this time, I'm going to do it. I'm going to actually go to school. Tell me about some of the stuff you've had to deal with. I just dropped out completely. I just got caught up in it, the whole scene with the alcohol and the drugs. I was arrested. A lot of my friends, they were really concerned, especially my friend Aaron. You just have to find someone. They don't have to tell you advice. They don't have to do that. They just listen. Give Frankie and our class of 08 the boost they need to graduate. Join us at boostup.org. Starting for Sheboygan Lutheran is number one, Todd Sam Decker, 6'7", junior. Number three, Zach Nicholson, a 5'11", senior. Number five, Dane Poth, a 6'2", senior. Number 21, Jacob Wheeler, a 6'1", senior. And rounding out the starting five is number 23, Zach Jensema, a 6'1", senior. So we got uh, four seniors and a junior starting for uh, the Crusaders. Or the Eagles of uh, Christian. Oh, 
Number 11, Alex Tislow, 5'10", senior. Number tw 22, Zach Flipsy, a 5'10", senior leading scorer for the Eagles, averaging a little over 10 points a game. Number 10, Kyle Calvert, a 6'6", junior. Number 23, Brandon Wissey is a 6'1", senior. And number 33, Dustin Brower, a 6'8 senior, so pretty good height for uh, for the Eagles. But uh, they're going to have to, and there you see uh, Zach Flipsy, and then in the foreground was Todd Decker. That's Sam's dad. Brett Flipsy's been uh, at the helm here at uh, Christian for 13 years. There you see Todd, he's been at uh, the helm for uh, Lutheran for the last 14 years. Our officials tonight are Peter Melko and James Brockman. Those two fellows are from Oshkosh. A well, pretty good crowd tonight. Uh, when uh, Chris and I were here the other night for the Oosburg game, it was, it was pretty <laughs> was dead, that, actually. Not as much? No, not nearly as much. Well, hopefully the excitement will go for the, for the Eagles here to get them going a little bit. Yeah, but, uh, well, that JV game certainly got the crowd fired up. Though. Yeah, that was pretty close. exciting game. And we'll do a retoss. Oh, a double hit, maybe. Okay, yeah, I looks think uh, yeah, Decker hit it a second time, maybe after the, yeah, at the initial, initial toss. All right, so turnover already by uh, by Lutheran. Tislaw has it. And Lutheran opening up in a man-to-man -man defense. Shot by Flipsy is up and in. Well, that's the way you want to get started. Right, and not guarded by a taller player either. Nope. He wasn't getting those looks the other night against Hoosberg. Decker pretty patient. Uh, outside shot is off, no good. Tislaw with the rebound. Two to nothing, Christian. Lutheran beat him the first time around over at the Lutheran High School. <coughs> Decker with a steal. Look out below. Lays it up go. and in. I By the way, most of his dunks are on YouTube. Okay. <laughs> Unlike yours, Brad. Yeah. <laughs> Mine are in the basement on the uh, small basket. <laughs> on the Nerf, the Nerf, Nerf basket, huh? Over my eight-year-old son. Well, tie up on the floor. Possession arrow belongs to uh, Lutheran, so they'll bring it up. All tied up at two. Both teams playing a man-to-man -man defense. Decker inside this time. They got the old flex flex offense going there. Yeah. Outside, Can't inside, getting them ready for the Badgers already. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> Shot is off by Nicholson. Christian comes away with the rebound. Flipsy. Three. Yeah, got it. Go. Three pointer. Two for two. Decker right back. Another two. Nice slash to the basket. You're doing it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you saw my head was oh, yeah, down. Yeah, your head was down. I figured I'd say something. Well, good drive to the hoop. Is that on Decker? Yeah, I think First. so. Calvert on the nice drive. Nope, they're going to get it on number five, Dane Poth. That'll be his first in the first team fall. Oops. Oops I think that's <laughs> we can do better than that. To move a couple boards to the right on this one, hopefully. Yeah, there you go. Decker with the board. Pretty good ball handler. 
Yeah, fadeaway jumper is no good. Tislaw with another rebound. He's got at least two. Christian on top, five to four. On the strength of a five points by Zach Flipsy. Another one. Oh, yeah, they left oh, him geez. open. Yep. Gonna have to find the defense for that yeah. guy. Eight to four. Well, actually, you know, when you think about it, uh, Christian has uh, three guys, well, two guys that are quite tall, and that presents a little problem defending if you want to defend Zach Flipsy with a taller guy because there aren't many tall guys left then for Lutheran. Yep. Not that you can start dumping it inside. Okay. Good job at, by Sam Decker that time not to go over the back trying to grab the rebound. Flipsy going hard to the hoop, but he gets fouled on the way. Wheeler picks up his first. A good tip away that time by Nicholson. That caught a little too far underneath the basket, huh? Need the reverse up on the other side. Wissy has it on the side. He did that same thing quite often against Usberg, Zach, where he would uh, take a dribble on the wing. Oh, oh didn't it look like it was it tipped? It looked like it was tipped, yeah. Anyway, you take, a, take one dribble on the wing and then he'd get caught, you know, being defense like he did on the other side. We have a 30 second timeout by, uh, Chris, by Lutheran. And uh, your impression so far? Uh, so far, yeah. Well, first of all, for uh, the home team, uh, Flipsy's obviously coming out very, very hot and getting the, getting the score going for them. And uh, for Lutheran, um, very impressed so far with, with Decker. Like I said, good good on the perimeter with the with ball handling and and uh, some good slashes to the basket and uh, avoiding some early fouls. Yeah. Next game for uh, Us for Christian is going to be at Stockbridge on Thursday, February 17th. The Stockbridge has really struggled. I mean, they haven't won a game in conference, and I think uh, just about every loss has been over 20 points. So that uh, we don't want to count it as a win, but uh, let's face it, it's not like traveling to Oostburg. <laughs> <laughs> 8-4, Christian on top. Zach Flipsy with all eight points. Has a couple of threes mixed in with his uh, two-pointer. Outside shot is off, no good. Another shot, no good. Rebounded by uh, Christian's Kyle Calvert. Dane Poth on the last three-point attempt. Uh, couldn't get it to go. Good hands by Poth. Christian's running their offense pretty much all from outside the three. Oh, there you go, inside the three-point line. Offensive foul. That was a pretty brave thing there by Zach Nicholson to stand in. Foul goes on Dustin Brower. That's his first and the first team foul. Rolling down to the 320 mark of the first quarter. It's 8-4 to four, Christian. Lutheran having trouble running their offense too. Decker taking it to the hoop, gets fouled by Tislaw on the way in. Alex with his first foul. Now here's the play on the inbounds. You gotta watch out for the guy yeah. throwing it in, right? Yep. Let's see if when that's- your best player and the tall guy is inbounding the ball. He's probably yep, coming off a screen oh, there. Nice pass. Nice little thing. round and down. Well, it's uh, Flipsy eight, Decker six. <laughs> Calvert yep. had his shot. Looked yep. like it was a clean block, but they're going to get both with a fall. Coming from behind like that, the 
referees are usually going to give you the call. And that's the second on Porth. Let's see what uh, Coach does there. And there he's got a quick glimpse at the uh, replay, I think. Hey, good shot. <laughs> Calvert missed a pair earlier in the quarter. He's uh, one for three so far. Eric Wiesman on the floor camera. Richard Bartson up here by us. There's Eric's shot. Kerry Kautzer spinning the dials in the truck. Brad Bulko, baptism under fire. Oh, nice pass by Decker for an easy two by Jensema. Oh. Pislaus. There you go. Somebody else on the board for Christian. 11 to eight. A good ball handling there. And the jump shot is good by Hasenstein. It's a pretty popular name over at uh, Lutheran. Decker pushed away, That's no yeah. call. Ooh, a little yeah. elbow thrown there too. It's kind of like all you play, Brad. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Got to get space somehow. And Calvert with a nice drive down the baseline. Come 13. Decker on the other end again. Whoa. Pretty. 13 to 12, 130 left in the first quarter. Very entertaining game. Oh. <clears throat> this is more points by Christian than they had in uh, three quarters of play the other night. Have to keep the pregame meal that they had tonight compared to the last game. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> We're going to get a fall on uh, Zach Nick Nicholson. And Nicholson picks up his second also. Fourth team foul on the uh, Crusaders. Nope. Oh, can't nah, do that. He didn't establish himself, no. I was watching a game the other night on TV that they were just kind of talking about that play right there, that they don't uh, enforce that three-foot rule anymore and oh. bad for the inbounding. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen that, that called. Well, Decker with a three-point attempt. Uh, not a good good attempt. Calvert trying to go baseline was cut off. Takes a jump shot. It's no good. Rebound comes to Jensema. Yeah, yeah a little push. Check there. That was Wheeler trying to take it to the hoop. Christian defenders might have to give uh, Decker a step and back up a little bit. And Hope he doesn't make, hit the jumpers. Make him hit a few jumpers instead of letting them slash to the basket. Decker on a nice pass. And then a good hustle yep. effort by uh, Jensema to tap it off uh, Tislow. 13 to 12, there's 13.4 seconds remaining in the first quarter. The Eagles on top, they've led the entire first quarter. Decker's inbounding again, see if he comes off the curl. And pull it out under 10 seconds. Deep jumper is no good, and we're at the end of one quarter of play with the Eagles of Sheboygan Christian leading their rivals, Sheboygan Lutheran, by a score of 13 to 12.
up and get groovy. Kid, what's up with you? Let's get up and play. Do something. Stop slumping like a lump all day. Get on up. Come on. Get out the door. Let's shake that booty like never before. Let's run. Have fun. Let's jump and groove. Get up and get that body up. Make it move. Get up, get up, get up. And be a player. Get up, get up, get up. Let's run, have fun, get up and be a player. Get up and play an hour a day. Ouch! Sorry. For cool playtime ideas, go online. Just don't stay long. Brad, pretty good first quarter. Yeah. Yeah, looks like got a good game. Good game brewing. Starting second quarter action. Christian on top, 13 to 12. Double post. A lot of bumping and banging and inside. Yeah. Tislow with a push off on his defender. Oh, we got him. Yeah. And Wissy with a drive to the hoop and a score. Fifteen twelve. Oh, uh, good post move by Jensmo, but then he can't finish. Flipsy with the rebound, pushing it up the court. Pretty good decision there, I mm -hmm. thought. Not to force anything. Oh, no basket. Foul is going to be on 33, Dustin Brower. And a uh, little too much Jocelyn in there. Yeah. His second coming in the ball game is Devin DeMaster, number 24. Looks like he's staying in with two fouls too, so you have to be careful not to pick up that third. Yeah, exactly. Now over at uh, Sheboygan North, you'd be benched for the rest yeah, of the Yeah, and there no questions asked, you're, you're done. Before the, ref, before the referee even reports the, the foul to the scoreboard, uh, you're, <laughs> the you're, you're already the sitting. Yeah. <laughs> Decker trying to force that one. Uh, couldn't get it to go. Eagles get it back. Uh, oh. Oh, nice. nice save. Oh, wow. I thought he was out of bounds. But uh, Wissy, good move inside, but couldn't get it to go. Both kicks it out. Long three-pointer is no good by uh, Wheeler. Luther just not, uh, they've gotten some good looks, but yeah. uh, can't get anything to go. It's the big crowd on the road that has their uh, shots coming up a little tight. Yeah, really. I'll tell you that Badger game the other night. Travel by uh, Flipsy. What do you think of that call? Uh, Were you watching it? You I was watching it. Okay, so. you didn't think so. No. Uh, not so much. Wheeler got a bit of a screen, uh, and he got nails it. a jump shot. Not a three-pointer, but he got uh, got it in. I got the press. Oh. And to avoid the turnover, Zach Flipsy calls a timeout. And it's a 30-second timeout, so we'll keep it here. Coach Decker must be looking for a little, little change in pace and a little spark for his team. Now, I don't know how you feel, but uh, I was able to see Sam play once before, and, and to this juncture in the game, I just don't think he's getting enough touches. No, I would say he looks, with how athletic he is and uh, with his, his handle on the, on the perimeter, I think he, he can pretty much you know, run your offense right through him, whether he gets a shot or drives and dishes and creates for others. And same thing with this press, if he's going to be, you know, I would definitely probably have him in the midfield, midcourt area, just kind of roaming, I think. With the good that, anticipation. With, yeah, with his anticipation and his athleticism, he'd be able to pick off a lot of balls. Well, let's see how Coach Decker utilizes him on the press. Almost looks like a half-court trap kind of trap. thing. Oh, it's hard to tell, but 2-2-1 uh, two, two, maybe? Yeah. Good cover up by uh, Lutheran getting back on the D. 
15 to 14, 5 10 remaining until halftime. Christian on top. They've led the whole way. Wheeler guarding Flipsy. Calvert being guarded by Decker. This pass. The master no. got it inside, then tried to feed it over to Wissy and threw it, uh, threw it out of bounds. Turnover on the Eagles. Nimmer up on top with Wheeler, giving it off to Decker, who's open for a three. His three is off. Christian has two three-pointers so far. And the master open on the back yeah. cut, but uh, got to catch the ball. If that was deflected a little bit that he lost it, or if it made it clean through there. I couldn't, yeah, look, you're couldn't right. see for the, the basket hanging down <laughs> yeah, here. <laughs> we have a... Feels like Duke and Cameron Indoor Stadium here up in the rafters. Oh, nice, Decker. Nice finger rolling up. Not much you can do against, and that's the first lead now for uh, the Crusaders, 16 to 15. 4 15, and, and this time Wissy throws it out of bounds. Unforced error. Yeah. Decker has uh, 10 points so far on the night. Flipsy had eight early points. He's still sitting at eight. Decker, a three again. Can't get it to go. I'll tell you, Christian's been uh, eating up the boards. Yeah. I had a chance to talk with Flipsy uh, again. Yeah, he must have heard us. <laughs> talk with Brett Flipsy after that Oosberg game, and you know, and, and as bad as they lost the game, and and they looked at times, he said they still out rebounded them. And they're definitely out rebounding the Crusaders tonight. Deep pass to Wissy. Oh, missed the bunny. Look out below. Becker having a tough shooting night along with the rest of the Crusaders. They trail it by one, 17 to 16. Flipsy on a fadeaway. No good. Decker on a nice feed yeah. inside. Easy basket by Nimmer. You, know, you make a basket, then you get a chance to set up the press, which seems to be working. That's a good point. Two fifty-five and counting till halftime. Lutheran has their second lead of the ball game. Yeah, another and turnover. Wissy again, you know, taking that one dribble on the uh, free throw line extended and, and not able to operate once he takes the dribble. Coach Flipsy uh, telling him uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> Just take I, a seat. I, I'm sure that was it. <laughs> telling him uh, don't worry about it. Uh, you do a little bit of coaching for your son. What would you have told him? Well, they're, they're not at the age yet where you really... Uh, <laughs> you wouldn't start ripping on them? No, no. <laughs> Not quite yet. They come over to the bench. What the heck it, you doing out there? And they sit down crying. His mother actually does more than that uh, <laughs> at this point. From the stands, huh? Yeah. She ever do any coaching? What are you doing, Brad? Yeah. <laughs> 18 to 17. Lutheran on top. 225 and counting. Oh, Wheeler wide, wide open in the lane, and he misses a layup. A lot of push-ups after the game. You gotta keep count here. <laughs> really? <laughs> Greg Scheidt in the ball game, number 20. And they're gonna get, wow. Ball from behind. Ball's gonna go on Decker, that's his first. I thought the referee was in a curious position to make that call. Flipsy from five feet behind the line nails a three. Four. 20 to 18. 13 points for Flipsy on the night. Fallen uh, DeMaster. Yep. Christian. 
hedging out on that screen. There's a lot of different ways you can, you know, defense that ball screen. One is hedging out. Yeah. Yeah, like I said earlier with Decker right now, until he hits an outside shot, he'd probably stay back and make him hit a few before. Scheidt that. is on him now. It switches over to DeMaster. Poth driving down the lane, throws it up, but it's no good. Foul goes on Greg Scheidt. That's the uh, sixth team foul on the Crusaders. Pardon me, on the Eagles. The Crusaders have five. Rolling down 135 and counting in the uh, second quarter. Decker between the leg dribble. His jump shot from 15 is off again. Anything not to the rim is not going in for uh, Decker. Not yet. Adam Hunick in the ball game, number 15. He has it right now. The master on a nice pass inside. Okay. And Scheidt puts it in. 22 to 18. Four point, pardon me, a five point run. Poth, no good. And again, Christian with the rebound. Deep pass, Hunick couldn't hang on. I think they had three defenders on Decker in the post on that last time down the floor. The side, side, and behind. <laughs> <laughs> Under a minute. Wheeler has it on top. Decker wants it inside, looks a little frustrated, and the ball is turned over. 30, 32 seconds left until halftime, and Poth, pretty good anticipation, but uh, couldn't control it. 27.3 seconds, Christian up 22 to 18. Open three. Real long. A launcher. Oh, good steal by the master. Thought he got away go. with the travel, but he put it up and in. Zach Jensen back on the other end. Shot is blocked. And the shot at the buzzer is no good. Jensma with that last basket for uh, Luther. And we're at halftime. It's 24 to 20, Brad. <laughs> Missing some easy baskets, but it's pretty exciting. Yeah. yeah. Well, with that, we're going to take a, a break, and uh, we'll be back. The all-new Enclave. It's a minivan to the max, with features like remote control sliding rear doors, 150 cable channels, a full sky view roof, temperature controlled cup holders, and the six point navigation system. It's the minivan for families on the go. Explore her grandeur. Appreciate her beauty. Protect her for tomorrow. Recycle your old rechargeable batteries. Call 877-2-RECYCLE or visit us online at calltorecycle.org. Everyone has friends. There's online friends. Friends to go out with on a Saturday night. Friends to hang out with and do nothing. Friends who show up on moving day. And then there are the friends who'll be there if someone is dealing with a mental illness. Are you one of those friends? Back at uh, Sheboygan Christian High School where the uh, Eagles lead Sheboygan Lutheran by a score of 24 to 20. Some first half scoring first for the Eagles. Kyle Calvert has three, Alex Tislow two, Greg Scheidt two, Brandon Wissey two, and Devin DeMaster two leading all scorers 
in that first half was Zach Flipsy. He has 13 for Sheboygan Lutheran. Sam Decker leads them with two. Z Jack Zenzema, Jenzema has four, and then with two each is uh, Carl Nimmer and Jacob Wheeler and Tyler Hosenstein and uh, Brad. Thinking from uh, Todd Decker's point of view, his uh, Crusaders are not playing very good tonight. Uh, what do they got to do to now fall shoot, back on top? Their shooting's a little off, and I like what he did in the first half when he went to the press and tried to pick up the tempo a little bit and maybe get get uh, get his son out in the open floor a little bit and get a little better, you know, more uh, slashing to the basket for, for him as well as the rest of the players, too, and as they just kind of pick up the pace and, and get it going. One thing we didn't talk about at the uh, beginning of the game was uh, the standings. Oosburg in conference is 14 and 0. Lutheran is in second place. They're 11 and 3 and uh, cannot afford another loss. There you see Dozaki at 10 and 4. But uh, Oosburg pretty tough, sitting at 18 and 0 on the year and uh, highly ranked in the state. So this is a big game, more so for uh, Lutheran than for Christian in terms of conference standings. And uh, this time it's uh, start. yeah. They got the possession. Uh, Lutheran did, but uh, let's take a look at it from uh, Brett Flipsy's point of view. What does he want to do to keep uh, in, keep the lead? Um, well, let's uh, keep uh, keep Zach going and try to get him some more open looks and score the ball. But I also like to see him uh, get some more post passes and maybe some better. Uh, better entry passes down low underneath. They seem to be running all their office kind of outside of the, the three-point line and that, well, there's a nice pass cut into the basket. The old backdoor uh, yeah, the old back door cut. Back door cut. But it looks like they had some uh, post players open in the first half that get some passes in there. Now if they take that offense and run it a little bit higher, like you said, you know, they're having trouble running it below the three-point line, that does open up some backdoor cut mm -hmm. possibilities. If yep. they can complete them. That's right. 24 to 20, just starting second half action. Christian on top. Christian Eagles coming into this ball game were uh, seven and 11, five and eight in conference. Wheeler and uh, there we go. another miss. Lutheran does not have a three point basket in the, in the game. Uh, Jenzema has three for uh, the Eagles. Being guarded by Nichols. Nicholson, his shot is no good. And then uh, tipped out of bounds by Christian's Dustin Brower. Looks like Coach Decker is not very happy with... Uh, <laughs> Substitution there. Sam Decker again, not able to get the shot in. Flipsy with a long pass to Wissy and does the one dribble and then is yep. stuck with the ball. As a coach, See right what do you there, the 30, 33 there. It's open for the post entry. Good defense that time. Decker has it. They're going to call the uh, foul before the shot. <laughs> you know, it would be interesting if they sent Decker to the line to shoot too. <laughs> <laughs> foul goes on uh, Zach Flipsy. Yeah, his second. There you saw it. A good entry pass there. No, uh -uh, I got the charge on that one. Decker picking up his second. Looks like they're trying to establish him on the inside here in the second half. Yeah. Tislow chases it down. Good hustle by him, and then he bounces it off his. Oh, he missed that one. Went right off of Tislow's foot, and they call it off of uh, Nimmer's foot. Yikes. Flipsy from outside the line, rims out. And Wissy with the rebound, and we get a foul call. Nicholson. 
The last two shots for flips here were a little bit forced, not quite as in rhythm as in the first half. Ah, you're right there. Tislow has it on top. Closing in on the uh, 5.45 mark of the third quarter. Neither team has scored yet in the second half. Still 24 to 20. Flipsy going hard to the hoop. Short armed it. Ugh. Well, long pass to Poth. Got to go up for it for, with two hands. Or jump higher. <laughs> jump higher sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> or both. Good job by Brandon Wissy. Tislow off the pass. It's a short jumper. 26 to 20. And foul goes on Christian. Brandon Wissy. Brandon's first, second team fall. Decker looking for an opening but couldn't find it so he shoots a 25 footer and nails it. His first three of the night. Other jump shots were just too close. Now he figured out what the problem was. Yeah, really. Decker with 13 points. Calvert, a runner, rims out. We had a good look. Nice strong rebound that time by uh, Hasenstein. Inside feed. Off the glass by Josh Wheeler is good. 26-25. Decker over the crowd. Tries to put it up and he's going to be fouled. That's going to go on Zach Flipsy. His third. Action hot and heavy all yeah. of a sudden, Brad. Well, Lutheran got that pace picked up a little bit with the uh, press and getting some easier shots. That's why it's so important, you know, if you're going to press, you got to score some baskets once in a while mm -hmm. so you can apply it. That keeps your energy level up, too. It's not necessarily fun to press, but if you get easy layups, then it makes it a little bit more fun. Rattles in the second free throw, and that makes it 26-26. 14 points for Decker. Flipsy with a little spin in the lane. Put it up and in. That was a dandy. Yeah. A little fade away. 28-26, Decker from outside the line. Same spot as he made the other one, but couldn't get this one to go. Zach Flipsy does a pretty nice job of uh, surveying the floor, Brad. Mm -hmm. I think that pass right there down, down underneath to, uh, to Brower is what they have to try to get a little bit more, more of. That. I think he's... Some good post-ups down there, give him a good target, but they haven't been hitting them too much. Right now, right now, look at him right now. Flipsy on a lean back, couldn't get it in. Wissy with the rebound. His shot was blocked by Hasenstein. They're going to get a foul. Brandon Wissy will go to the line to shoot a pair. Christian so far on the night is uh, one for five from the free throw line. Twenty nine, twenty six. Yeah, a little bit of a reach. You get a good look at the crowd.
Zach Jensma comes in and uh, Tyler Hosenstein checks out. Oh, Decker left wide open and he nails another three. He's getting the outside field now. All tied up at 29. 315 and counting here in the third quarter. Flipsy looking, couldn't find anything open. Good defense played by Nicholson. And oh, well. They're gonna get Decker on a foul? No, no, I think it's on, uh, on Christian. Nope, they called it oh, on, no, Decker it on Decker on the steal. That's his third two, I yeah, believe. Yeah, well, tough break for him. Yeah, I didn't see that one, but. Fourth team foul. Both teams uh, with four team falls here in the second half. Oh, we another Decker one. Decker wanted another one. Not a foul, by the way. No, no. <laughs> oh, it's oh, travel. travel. Got up. Yep. Good call by the official there. Jensema went down to the floor for it. That was the good part, but then getting up was the bad part. Brandon Wissey. Uh, Got hit on the lip. Got some blood or something? Uh, what I think happened. Need the cut doctor? Yeah. Ferdy Vachekel. <laughs> <laughs> he was uh, Muhammad Ali's cut doctor. It was before my time. Ferdy Vachekel. <laughs> You were a sparkle in your dad's eye back That's then. That's right. And uh, Wissy goes out of the gym with uh, to get some assistance. Medical attention. Yeah. And Paul's going to go. I believe that's on Jensema. Only his first, but the fifth team fall. And uh, there's still 241 remaining in the third quarter. Could be a long fourth quarter, Brad. Yes. Balls are adding up. All tied up at 29. There you go. Oh. Yeah. Flipsy not to be denied. Yeah. Well, that was a good play to go at him. If, try to get the basket or back with the three, uh, get the fourth foul on him. I'll tell you, uh, Christian is all over the boards. They didn't get that one. They tipped it out of bounds, but I mean, there's two guys going after it. You'd hear it up here, slap on the arm. I think you're going to get Calvert or Brower. I think Coach Decker has been teaching that out of bounds play since I uh, first met him as a freshman at North many years ago. That's the old. Uh, the old radar. Cross screen underneath and seal both boxes. Jensen will be at the line. Well, Lutheran has only shot four free throws, or will shoot four free throws so far. This will be the fourth. They've made two out of three. So not a lot of free throws shot by either team in the ball game. Pretty quiet at the line on those free throws. Knocks them both home. We're all tied at 31. 210 remaining in the third quarter. Richard Bartson on the top camera giving you that shot. Eric Wiesman on the seal. bottom. <laughs> yeah, there's been. The seal's down there every time on the box. Calvert shot rims out. Decker with the rebound. Perry Kautzer spinning the dials. P color man is uh, Brad Balko. North player and play-by-play -play man, Mike Martin. <laughs> Sam Decker with a driving layup. Yeah. He's got 16. Flipsy has 17, leads all scorers. And oh, almost had it Whoa. tipped away. Was able to gather it <coughs> back in and a deep pass. 
Going hard to the hoop, but not scoring yeah. was Josh Wheeler. Needed to uh, set his feet if he wanted to take the charge. He was kind of stuck in no man's land there. Alex Tislow with his second foul. Six team foul. Lutheran on top, 33-31. Wheeler will be at the line shooting a pair. Any good shot there. Well, free throws could be a big difference maker, Brad. Yeah. I know it's early. We're not in the fourth quarter yet, but uh, they all We're count. Both, <laughs> both going to be a bonus soon. Lutheran already is. This is the largest lead for uh, Lutheran. Three points. Flipsy with the rebound. 34-31. Decker guarding Flipsy now. That's an interesting matchup. Yeah. Especially with the, yeah, that, that part of it, but I'm thinking with three falls. Either Flipsy can try to take it right at him or he can actually you know, use the fact that he's guarding him to draw him out out of the lane and open up some something underneath for Christian. Oh, uh, tried the lead feed, but uh, Decker was not there. And then Flipsy loses the ball and Decker puts it up and in. And all of a sudden it's 36-31. Under a minute, 35 seconds and counting. There it is. Hey. Brower with an easy two. You're right, they That's gotta get I've it inside. That's what I've been asking for all night. Hey. <laughs> 15 seconds left in the third quarter. 36-33. Scheidt trying to keep Decker from getting the ball, wasn't able to do it. Decker a fadeaway three, yeah. bango! And that's how the quarter's yeah. gonna end. He's got the touch now. At the end of three quarters of play, Lutheran on top, 39-33. Television is a powerful and influential medium that allows different groups the opportunity to produce programming that directly affects their own communities. Public, educational, and government access channels ensure that all people, regardless of race, age, gender, disability, religion, or economic status, have access to local government information and the use of a public communication forum. Make sure everyone has a voice. Support your local PEG channels. Sam Decker has 24 points in the ball game. He had 14 in that uh, third quarter, Brad. Okay, yeah. It's starting to look like the Brad, uh, Todd Decker you read about in the, or Sam Decker you read about in the paper. That's right. Starting fourth quarter action, uh, the Crusaders up 39-33 and we get a whistle underneath. And a lot of jostling under, underneath or what? We're checking for blood. Boy, oh boy. Well, there's blood somewhere. They're checking them out, where it's coming from. Who knows? Hey, Kerry, can you get a replay of that action underneath the basket, see what was going on? The bottom of his shirt there. Yeah, very right. Must have been a rough huddle there between the third and fourth quarter. <laughs> Come out bleeding. <laughs> Is that how you coach your kids? <laughs> Start drawing blood? That's right. Five standing at the go play. <laughs> 7.53 remaining when we had stop, when we stopped action, and uh, Brower's out of the ball game, and so is Calvert. So the two of the tallest players on the team are 
now on the bench. Also out of the game is Brandon Wissy. He had some blood issues. Decker still guarding Flipsy. Is it a box and one? Oh, it looks that way. Oh, deep feed. Nicholson couldn't get it. Josh Wheeler put it up and in though. He's been big off the bench. Five points for Wheeler in the second half. Yeah, there it is. Oh, Bunny missed. Scheidt's shot is blocked. Lutheran comes away with it. Six fifty remaining in the fourth quarter. Eight point lead all of a sudden by uh, Lutheran. And stepping out was the master committing the foul. Oh, just like that, Brad, you know, all of a sudden. Yeah. Well, I don't think uh, Christian can play his own anymore. Not at this juncture. Yep, they're going to need a few, few baskets here to... Stay in it. Carl Nimmer is going to oh, check that out. It's going to be uh, Sam Decker at the line. It's the seventh team foul on Christian. Brawler back in the ball game. Calvert still on the bench. They leave early. Yeah. Wow. Zach Flipsy bringing it up, being guarded by being guarded by Nicholson, and they're going to get Wheeler. It could have been either Wheeler or Decker. At least that was, that's that. what it looked like. Yeah. Then they got the entry pass on that side. Yeah, and good to see Brawler back in the ball game. Must have shouted out the blood. <laughs> shouted out. Get the spray bottle. <laughs> or he just tucked in his jersey. <laughs> <laughs> that works too. One out of two. 41 30. 41 34. Lutheran on top. A well, very tight defense played by the Eagles. Lutheran having trouble running the offense. Decker couldn't get that three to go. Wheeler and Flipsy battling for the rebound. Lutheran ball. You know, that's kind of my philosophy. You know, if you're not making them, I mean, you got to keep shooting them because you, right. you never know when one will go in. <laughs> oh, nice feed inside to Jensma. He gets the bunny up and in. Lutheran by nine. Flipsy with a fadeaway, nails it. Two pointer. Inside feed, Jensma, he fakes, but is gonna get called for the walk. Christian gets a few more baskets here, a few more turnovers. Yeah, well, it's still a ball game. It's only a uh, seven point difference. Lutheran on top, rolling down to the 520 mark of the fourth quarter. Been a very entertaining game. Lutheran led the entire first half for the most part. Wheeler and then Decker just goes above everybody to grab the rebound, and that included Brower. Decker hard to the hoop, nice put it shot. up and in. Oh, 
got him sealed again. There you go. A little, oh. too, a little too far. Okay. Good help defense that time by Nimmer, but uh, not able to control the ball. If you go to that post, you might not necessarily get an easy basket every time, but if you can pick up a fourth foul on Decker, that'll that'd be huge. That'll help a little bit too. All right, we have a timeout. Full timeout, Kerry, so let's take a short break with the 448 remaining. Lutheran on top by nine. Service learning is helping students improve their grades and their communities by connecting the classroom with community service. Working together, students solve real problems, build new skills, and apply their knowledge in a whole new way. Inside the classroom and out, service learning opens new doors and brings learning to life. Get your school involved. Visit learnandserve.gov to find out how. Hey, there you see little Jacob Hoffensberger in the gray and uh, Nick Verhage's son to his uh, left. And then uh, I don't know what that little Marshall's name, but there's Tim Marshall, played for the Raiders. Okay. He's a little bit ahead of you, huh, Brad? By uh, a year or so? Uh, well, he was uh, or a, a little year bit behind. younger, younger. Okay, so you're an old guy. I'm an old man. Yeah. Over the hill. By the way, you did an excellent job on that uh, Deso show. Well, uh, great, a, great guidance. By whom? <laughs> <laughs> Is that the same but guidance you're getting tonight? That's right. <laughs> you're getting guidance. I don't know how great it is, but. <laughs> <laughs> we're heading somewhere, just not sure where. <laughs> <laughs> we may be lost, but we're making good time. <laughs> that's right. Oh, tough defense played on uh, Flipsy before he finally got the ball. That was Nimmer playing the. The tight D, Flipsy. Whistle before the shot. Did you sense he carried the ball going through the lane or yeah, not? Yeah, a little bit. He was that trying to get through an area where there wasn't really much. So then you carry room. it, right? Yeah. <laughs> Flipsy will be at the line shooting the bonus the one and one bonus I guess I guess it's not the bonus but uh, whatever bonus not the super bonus double bonus <laughs> two shots and another missed free throw we'll have to count those up in just a second see what they're shooting from the free throw line Wheeler almost had it stripped away by yeah. Flipsy Zach Flipsy Decker's shot is off, no good. Coach Decker's yelling to the officials, which is probably true. It looks like a lot of defenders are starting to hang those hands on. Sam? On Sam, yeah. Uh, number 31, we don't have a name on him. He's not on our roster. So we'll just call him 31. A three again for Flipsy. Oh, there it is. Look at that. Falling away. And then a quick timeout. Well, Flipsy missed the free throws. It must have been too close, but he nailed the three. 45-39. Well, let's count these free throws, Brad. The only count for one point. And they've only good. made three out of nine so far. That's not good enough. Seven. Four out of seven for uh, Lutheran. So they would not be leading the conference in that area. But it's an exciting ball game. And Brad might find himself a new career. Yeah. <laughs> or at least a... I, I won't quit my day job yet. Yeah, there you go. But that day job is cutting into a lot of basketball time, though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah where were you again tonight? <laughs> at work. <laughs> well, that's no excuse. Yeah, I know. We uh, were playing Wednesday night, and it was the four 60-year-olds, and then we had a, well, we just picked up another guy, and we wound up winning all the games. Who was the pickup? <laughs> Mr. Bulko right here. <laughs> and now, uh, oh, thought he might have had a breakaway, but uh, I think it was a good decision by Nicholson to. Uh, kick. 
I think Flipsy does play soccer. Yeah, that was an interesting <laughs> defensive move. I don't think I've ever seen that one before. <laughs> seen a kick on a pass, but not on a dribble. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Decker has it on top. 325 remaining in the ball game. It's only a six-point game. Flipsy's three-pointer is uh, really cut into the lead for uh, the, the Crusaders. Oh, tipped away and good hustle by it. Zach Flipsy. Dad gives him five. Brett says, don't hit my shooting hand so hard. Yeah. Or Zach does. <laughs> Nicholson has it being guarded by uh, Zach Flipsy. Three minutes left in the ball game. And uh, well, what do you think about Seems like they're pulling it out kind of yeah. early. Yeah. You know, like I was saying earlier, they're starting to starting to hang and hand check a little bit there on, on Zach. Well, I didn't catch he, they call the follows on thirty one, but I didn't catch his name. He said Wissy. Is that Wissy? Okay, well might Wissy might have a brother. Another Wissy. Twenty-seven points now for Sam Decker. That free throw makes it twenty-eight, and uh, the score now is forty-seven thirty-nine. Eight-point advantage for uh, the Crusaders. Two fifty left in the ball game. You know what? Mm -hmm. Shot is no good. I think that. Uh, Eh, forget that thought. Calvert from outside the line couldn't get it to go. And Nicholson with the rebound. And Wissy almost stole it. Then they pull it out. And then they really pull it out. Ooh. On DeMaster with a chest bump. And uh, should have no complaints. That was a clear foul. I was going to say that 31 Wissy might be Brandon, but uh, I don't think so. Because uh, this Wissy only had one foul. Of course, that'd be a good yeah. way to roll back Brandon Wissy's three falls to one. <laughs> he got a new number. It's not a bad idea. You can switch uniforms at halftime. I never thought of that. Well, 30 points now for uh, Sam Decker, and it's a 10-point advantage for Lutheran. 2.15 remaining. It's getting late. You definitely need a basket on this trip. Brower has it in the lane, has it tipped away, but gets it back. Flipsy a fadeaway. Under pressure, couldn't get it. And Wheeler with another rebound. Boy, he's had a nice game coming in off the bench. And DeMaster with another bump. This time it'll be uh, Nicholson going to the line. And get a good shot of Brett Flipsy. And uh, to start. 10 fouls and also it's super bonus the rest of the way. We have to start following here and see if we can make up, a, see if uh, Christian can make up a few points. To oh, this is how you put the kiss of death on the team, Brad. You say they got five free throws in a row, looking for number six. There you go. <sighs> I didn't do that on purpose. <laughs> Fifty to thirty-nine. Decker trying to guard Flipsy, and he's not going to get the shot over the much taller Sam Decker. One twenty nine remaining. Brower. Good play, Decker. Pass up. Head of the crew. 
And uh, Nimmer with an easy layup off a nice pass. And now it's getting away from uh, yeah. the Eagles. Nope. Your thoughts on that last play? Well, that, uh, <laughs> Coach just got a technical here. Flipsy. You're kidding. Silence in the house. Trying to sort things out and we get a technical foul. Now of all the years I've seen uh, Brett coaching, he's never gotten a technical. This is uh, very unusual. I take that back. Todd Decker got the foul. Uh, no, uh, well we got the... I think they're going to have him shoot the free throws first, but then I think they'll probably come back and shoot the technical in the end. I don't okay. know. Yeah, I right. think it is on Flipsy, though. Well, Zach Flipsy knocks home a couple of free throws. That makes it 52 to 41, and now Sam Decker is going to come down here and shoot the technical foul. Sam has made five in a row. That means, yep, didn't work on that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, lose the possession on the technical yeah. foul and give him two points. Unfortunate to happen at this Juncture point of the game. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's 54 to 41. There's 113 remaining in the ball game. Lutheran with the possession. To start playing the ball. Go hard after the ball. If you foul, you foul. If you get the steal, you get it. Good hands by Nimmer to uh, control it. And then he gets, or Nicholson, and then he gets fouled. Nicholson will have a chance at two free throws. Rattled that first one in. The free throw percentages are improving. Oh wow, yeah they've made a ton here in the fourth quarter. Nine out of 10, Brad. Zach Flipsy coming out. Samuel Oringa comes in. Scheidt comes in. So for uh, Christian. Nick Redeker is in for a Luther number 35. And Calvert back in the ball, game number 10. So he's got to look at the basket. There we go. Had a good look. Couldn't get it to go, though. Nice shot by Aringa. And Dringa. And timeout by Lutheran. What's Coach telling him now, Brad? I think he was just trying to get Sam out. Checking in for him will be uh, Jacob Cans. Cans, a good left-handed pitcher on the baseball team. Pitcher? Does he uh, often agree with the strike zone, or is it Ooh, strike zone I missed one. Off? I missed one on him last <laughs> year at uh, Plymouth. Not, not him as a pitcher. I was on the bases, but uh, they wound up beating Plymouth one to nothing. I mentioned this before. Christian's next game is at Stockbridge on February seventeenth. And Lutheran's next game is at home against Random Lake. That'll also be on Thursday the 17th. Our next game, TV8, WSCS TV actually, will be on Tuesday, next Tuesday, when Bayport comes in to play Sheboygan North, and uh, North wins that game. They're tied for the Fox River Valley uh, lead, conference lead. The master uh, fouling. Is that five? I mean, it be five huh? It's going to be pretty close. Jacob Wheeler. Go to the line. Eighteen point seven seconds remaining. Oh, 
Joshua Sider comes in, number uh, 12. Matt Gum in the ball game for uh, the Crusaders. You know, this is gonna wind up being a double digit lead, but uh, it was much closer than that. Tom Wilkie in the game also for uh, the Eagles. Oops. Whoop! It's a zig instead of a zag. Yeah. Brian Dahlke in the ball game. Coming out is Tyler Hosenstein. Also checking in is uh, Cody Fintelman. And that ball gets tapped out of bounds. Now right there is where it's dangerous to be on the bench. <laughs> Tap that ball and all of a sudden you take a header. Two, one, ball game. Final score. Lutheran coming back hard, wins it 57 to 41. Uh, Brad, your uh, your impressions of uh, the ball game first of all. It was good, good game, good uh, good effort on both sides. Uh, Christian came out nice and strong at the beginning and put on a good fight in the second half. Uh, Lutheran definitely uh, po poured it on the second half and kind of pulled away here in the last last few minutes, but a close game throughout. Let's talk about the stars of the game. Uh, Zach Flipsy first. Uh, Zach Flipsy first, what do you think about him? Um, good good scoring good scoring game for him. Uh, started out real nice in the first half. Uh, second half, kept kept the scoring going. You know, had to force force a few more shots. Uh, um, you know, the offense was, you know, the defensive pressure on Lutheran picked up a little bit. So, uh, but yeah, overall great, great game. Sam Decker. Sam Decker, yeah, very impressed with his, um, with his ath athletic ability and ability to handle the ball and, uh, good outside shooting in the second half and you know slashing to the basket. That, yeah, it looks like a very very good good player. All right. Uh, before we leave, I didn't mention the JV score. Uh, Sheboygan Lutheran uh, won in a very good ball game, uh, 54 to 50. Uh, tonight's ball game just finishing up. Sheboygan Lutheran won the uh, varsity game, 57-41 for the crew. For the crew, we've got Eric Wiesman on the bottom camera, Richard Bartson up here on top, Kerry Kautzer spinning the dials. For my uh, first time partner, Brad Bulko, I'm Mike Martin saying thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you down the road. <laughs>